we're going to be doing a Hunger Games movie review. The best movie that I have seen in my 14 years of life. Besides... I don't have another one. And on the upper hand, my lovely, lovely colleagues, and by colleagues I mean friends, <laughs> have bought me this. So you can see like the light reflecting off his chest, making it look like he has boobs. But okay. <laughs> Just cover that with my face. Okay, um and this should not be any longer than ten minutes, I hope. Um review. I thought the movie was fantastic. Literally, I was crying, laughing, pissed off throughout the whole movie because the characters did their their job in creating that same vibe that the book gave you of anger, sadness, and just humor. Just the way that it was written. Beautifully and fantastic by the wonderful Suzanne Collins, who hopefully should write a prequel to the book about some other girl or about her dad and her mom. No, I'm kidding. Whatever she would like to do. It's not. I'm not the writer, so I can't write anything because I don't know anything. But okay. Randomly breaking down to accents. I don't know why. But here are the three I wishes that would have been in the movie. I'm going to say disappointment, probably. But these are the three things that I would have wished had been there. Obviously, the first one is the pin. I was so- I thought they were gonna do, like, some Greasy Say thing, like, maybe here, take the pin from Greasy Say, but it was no kind of like, I found this pin in a bucket at the hub, and I'm just going to give it to my sister and tell her good luck, this will keep you safe, when we all obviously know it won't. But to the people who haven't read the book, it's kind of a shocker. But, it's like, here, I grabbed this out of a bin at the hub. I hope you like it. I sparkled it with my pixie dust and said it's magic and it keeps you safe, which obviously it doesn't. Number two, the chariot scene. A lot of people were like, oh my god, I love it. I'm like, well, I'm not disappointed with it, I guess. I just wanted it to be a little bit more elaborate. The CGI, I, I don't even know if it was CGI, just animation in general, it was not how I imagined it, I guess. It was like... Okay, they're on fire. They look like two logs. But I guess that was the point. I personally, I, I think I liked the outfits. I just didn't like the subtlety that it was. I thought it was going to be more like... Because it was supposed to be. I don't know if I'm wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong. Camera's there. Um, number three. No shirtless pita scenes. I'm very disappointed. No, I'm kidding. It wouldn't have done the difference. I don't want him to go all frickin' Taylor Lautner and be like, Do you want my shirt off? I would have been like... Just like some creepy, awkward guy just going, I'm going to take my shirt off. We're in a cave, so... No. That should not have happened. That will not happen. If, if they go all Taylor frickin' Lautner on us with Finnick, I'm fine. Because that's Finnick's personality. I just don't want to be like, I'm taking my shirt off seductively and I'm PETA because PETA is PETA. No. I just wanted them to do the scene where he took his shirt off when they were at the river. But no. They didn't. But the movie was still amazing. Everything was amazing. The characters, everything was wonderful. Hamish, gave, Hamish and Effie gave the perfect balance of humor and so seriously played out story. Movie, story, whatever. Other funny moment that did not involve Effie or Hamish was the hallucination of Caesar. He's like, Tracker Jacker Venom can cause serious hallucinations. I'm like, in the middle of the theater, I'm like, how did he get there? And then he just like taps his little, looks like a creepy old version of Willy Wonka in like all white, the one you'd see in like the hospital room before you died. <laughs> Sorry to go that far. <laughs> um, then the 
career tributes when they were going to get Katniss. They're like, no, I'm gonna come and kill you! Oh, look, there she is! Oh, oh, oh. Literally, I was dying because they're just like, so like, oh yeah, oh yeah, I'm gonna come and kill you. We got my knife and I got my bow and I got my sword and my spear and I'm just gonna come and cook you like a pig. No, that didn't happen, did it? Look who died there. <laughs> Glimmer. <laughs> Good tracker jacker scene. Um, some of the most depressing parts of the movie that make me cry were, like, three scenes in a row, I think. Yeah. Oh, no, wait. No. Yeah, wait, no. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, the one that made me cry is when her dad went, they, they had the image of her dad and all the miners going down to mine and exploding. I was like... I was, like, tearing up then, and then Rue's death, I started, like, you know, getting into it, and then when they showed the rebellion in District 11, I lost my marbles and just started crying. I was like, <laughs> why? No, oh my god. And, like, one of my other friends was dry heaving next to me, and I had my whole birthday party with me, and they were all like, <laughs> yeah. But, um, those were the depressing parts. Another depressing part, but it wasn't, like, crying worthy, I guess, was at the end. She's like, what do we do now? And she's like, I guess we forget. And he's like, I don't want to forget. I'm like, I don't want to. I like that ending much better than the book. Because it just, it's like, <laughs> it just, it gets you like, gosh darn it, gonna kill you with a hairbrush. Kind of thing. But, yes, I did think that was a good movie. I keep saying it's a wonderful movie. Um, oh god. But, no downsides to it, I guess, besides the fact, the three things that I said. The, th the third thing, not so much. It wouldn't have made a difference at all in the movie. Just like, everybody was expecting it. Like, everybody wrote, like, GIFs and little quotes. Like, keep calm and wait for Peter shirtless scenes, and did that ever happen? No. They gave so much hype for the shirtless scenes that it never happened, I guess. Maybe we'll see some. Another thing that I want to talk about, even though it's probably not going to be for a while, when the movie literally just came out, um, when they release, like, Hunger Games on, like, DVD, when people are going to buy it, I wonder if they're going to have, like, bonus scenes and, like, behind-the-scenes kind of, like, bloopers. I hope they do, because it just connect the, um, the fandom with the cast so much more than watching interviews and stuff like that. That's my personal opinion on it, and this is going to 8 minutes. Wow, I'm trying to make this under 10 minutes if I can. But, um, that's pretty much my overall review. I would give it 2 thumbs up. If I had 5 fingers, I would give it 5 thumbs up, or 5 stars, or 100%, or 110% freaking percent. It was a good movie, all in all, that I think that they did the greatest adaption they could to this marvelous book, written marvelously by, again, Suzanne Collins, which I keep repeating stuff. I know I'm repeating stuff. Um, I hope Catching Fire is just as good. It will be amazing. Um, other news besides Hunger Games, well, I guess it kind of relates, is me and my friends are going to be soon filming our mini-movie called The Resistance. The trailer should be... In one of the people that I found their soccer goalies account, if you go there and you go to the Resistance trailer 1 and 2 are the most, the ones that we do, we will soon be filming the movie sooner or later and we'll be making our own little Hunger Games. News other than that, there is nothing. I still need lost chapter ideas like books that we can make into mini movies that play off maybe like 5 or 6 minute movies, 9, 10 minutes. Hopefully you guys see this and you will recommend some books that you think we should do skits off of. Please and thank you because we are running out of things to do with the Hunger Games books and Divergent is next and possibly Percy Jackson and Girl Version. So I hope you guys like this review. Give it a thumbs up, put it in your favorites, which obviously is kind of pointless in my eyes because this is just a review and it's not really that funny unless you think it is. Um, see you guys later. Happy Hunger Games. May the odds be ever in your favor. I hope you guys see it as many times as I have, which is once, or going to be twice tomorrow. Um, I have ten seconds. So again, may the odds be ever in your favor. I will see you guys on the other side in my covers, and please recommend videos. Bye!